Hello. So Philippa from the Adventure Queens has requested that I put together a little series of activities to do with um, various aspects of mountain walking and navigation. So I've had a think about this and I've decided I might as well make these available to everybody. And also um, I'm going to do little tutorials to go alongside the activities so people who haven't quite yet got the skills can up their skill level and join in and practice as well. So hopefully you find these little series useful. I'm going to be looking at a variety of topics and this first little um, short video here is looking at grid references. So really useful skill. Um, one of the main reasons if you ever want to share your accurate location if something goes wrong you need some help. So worth spending some time making sure you still remember how to do this and you can be nice and accurate. If you've got any questions or comments just uh, note them down at the end and I'll get back to you. Thanks very much. Here we've got our ordnance survey map and we can see that it's broken down into lots of squares each one being one kilometre squared and those blue lines that we see forming the squares are called grid lines. The grid lines moving from west to east over the page are called eastings and the lines moving from south to north up the page are called the northings and we need to recognize those individual numbers in order to make our grid reference and i always go back to the learn the uh, the line we learnt in school along the corridor and up the stairs to help me remember which ones I'm looking at first. So here's our zoomed in map and we not only need to know what the grid lines are but we need to be able to break down that one kilometre square into smaller sections. So this measure can be found at the top of your map and those little boxes that we can see are each 100 metres wide. So if we break the square down into 10 across the top and 10 down the side then we break that one kilometre square down into 100 metre square boxes. And that's what we're going to need for our six figure grid reference. So the compass comes in very useful here because we're not always looking at things right at the top of the map. So making sure I use the correct scale on my compass. So if I can find the mouse, there we go. This is one to 25,000 scale measuring section of the compass that I'm using to match the scale on the map. So let's look at that square broken down and have a look at a grid reference for that red section there. So going back to the rhyme along the corridor, so I'm going to move horizontally along the grid line that I get to that relates to that square, the big square, the kilometre square is 61. So I'm going to make a note of that. And then I'm going to move along my measured 100 metre lines and see how many lines it takes me to get to this. So that is eight lines. So the first section is 618, 618. I'm then going to go up the stairs. So go vertically and I cross 55. One, two, three, four, five, five, four. 618554. Let's have a look at doing that again. This one's slightly different because once I go along the corridor, it hits 61. That's great, that's just like normal. But the red box comes immediately before I've got to the first line. So that means I'm going to call it 610. And then going up the stairs, 55, five, go up one, so it's 551. Okay, so that's not all though with the grid, re grid reference. We need to add the suffix at the start. So for Snowdonia, we are SH and that can be seen in the corner of my map just here. And as we can see here, each little square that the country's broken down into has its own unique um, couple of letters. So we need to put those at the start of our grid reference. So here in Snowdonia, we can see we're SH. So let's have a look at that same square again, broken down the same as it was, but this time I'm gonna leave it for you 
to figure out what these grid references are. So have a go at that one, remembering the suffix of sh at the beginning. If you need to pause the video to have more time, then go ahead and have a go at that one too. Again, pause this if you need a little bit more time. And finally, how about figuring out which square this grid reference 618557 applies to and what are you going to find in that square? So word of warning now, I'm about to put the answers on the screen. I'm going to finish with the answers. It's my final thing. Um, so pause if you need more time and make sure you ask in the questions or comment if you've got anything to say at the end. Thanks very much for watching.